Hi, I'm Jessica Mullen. And I'm Kelly Curry. And we're here to answer the question, Who is Rudy Corrales? So I went to Marfa this weekend and met this guy, Rudy Corrales, and drank with him all day, and he told me a lot about the history of Marfa and the people in the community. So you just met some random dude. How do you meet him? I walked by him on the street, said hello. He offered me some whiskey. I took it and went to his house and made some more drinks. <laughs> Are you serious? You went to a dude's house? What, what is his house like? Well, I tried to take a lot of pictures, but he didn't want me staying inside too long. He didn't want to be the talk of the town. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, so you go to Rudy's and you leave, and what did you do after that? Well, we were on our way to the liquor store to get some more whiskey when we ran into his friends, Carpenter, Mike, and Tammy, and they invited us up to their house and for some beers, and uh, we kind of lost track of time, which I think happens a lot in Marfa. So you go to Marfa, you meet some random ass dude and drink whiskey with him all morning, and then you go to his house, and then on the way to get more whiskey, you meet some more random people and go to their house and drink beers with them all afternoon? What were you doing? What were you talking about? Well, they were telling me a lot of stories about um, like Lan Lance Armstrong bringing his own wine into town when he visits, or the owner of uh, the Thunderbird Hotel and her personal dramas. This is all very interesting. Well, it's a really interesting place, and it's a really great place. There is no crime. Everyone takes care of each other, and it's a really tight-knit community. Everyone knows everyone's name. Okay, so then what happens with Rudy? Well, after someone else showed up with a bottle of tequila, I realized that I probably had to get going. So Rudy walked me to the bus, and I promised I would write.